So today we are going to can some peaches. I have about a half a bushel to can. And I don't can peaches every year simply for the fact that they are so expensive. Peaches do not grow here in Iowa. And I know there is a couple varieties that say they're hardy for our zone. And we have tried them, but they never... Um, We've not been able to keep them growing for more than four or five years and then we get a very hard winter and they will die. So all of the peaches that we process are shipped in peaches and because they are shipped in they are often expensive. This year a friend was able to find some peaches for, I paid about $27 for half a bushel. So this makes it worthwhile for me to can some peaches as a treat. Not something that we have on hand every year or even all winter long. Just as an occasional treat for school lunches. It makes more sense for us to fill our larder with the fruits that grow locally. And for us, that is pears, apples, um, strawberries, raspberries, and things along that line. Because those we can grow ourselves and we don't have to pay the extra money to have them shipped in. So after we've washed the peaches, we cut them in half, we take the pit out, and then we peel them. And yes, I know that you don't actually have to peel them, but my family prefers the peaches to be peeled before they're canned. We then slice them and put them into quart jars. that's full. 
Wait, can I see you peel it yeah. again? Yeah. Just put your... So we add a tablespoon of sugar to each jar after we have it filled with peaches. And we are mostly just doing this to preserve the color. Now you can add things like citric acid or orange juice um, to preserve the color, but we like a tablespoon of sugar best. Should I dip some in here? Um, first we have to put sugar in. Oh, Maxwell, go fill that pitcher up with warm water. No, too full, too full. Can you have that one? Kendrick Finn. So after we filled the jar with peaches and added our tablespoon of sugar, we fill the jar with warm water. We use warm water to dissolve the sugar and we bring the water level all the way up to one inch of headspace in each jar. And then we put on the lids and rings. We got to put peaches in there first, Harrison. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kendra. Mm We set the jars in water up to the ring of the jar, and then we wait for them to come to a boil. Okay, let's see if it's boiling. Not quite. Okay, put the lid back on. Once they're boiling, we're gonna set the timer for five minutes. The reason that we're only going to boil them for five minutes is that the peaches don't actually need to be cooked. You just need to heat them long enough to get that rubber ring around the lid to seal properly. Yep. 